my sweetheart says, it's time for him to move out. He'll man up when he's on his own. But I'm afraid to let Kelvin go. He moved in when his mom died. He was eight. And it was so unexpected. I mean, I didn't even know my sweetheart had any children. But I was so in love. I made a banner and hung it outside our building. It said, welcome home, Kelvin and Catherine, because there were two of them. And I was so excited. Catherine was 10, and Kelvin's eyes were the same color as mine. But they were so sad. And I knew they'd be a constant reminder of my own unhappiness, living as a stepchild in my father's house. I grew up with a stepmother whose arms hung at her sides because she never hugged me. My dad didn't know what to do about it. He'd say, try harder with her. But how does a kid make someone love them? Clean clothes, nice habits, good grades. I tried. But she'd always wedge herself in between my father and me, wearing the thin smile of one of those fairy tale stepmothers. <laughs> those first few weeks of living with my sweetheart's children, I found that I was often jealous, especially when I saw that he filled the time that he used to spend with me with his kids instead. They have to come first, he'd say to me. And I wanted to wedge myself in there just like my stepmother had done. But I knew I couldn't do that, so I readied myself to leave my sweetheart and his unexpected children. I did not want to be a stepmother. My stepmother used to sing happy birthday to me, but it was never happy. Twice, she lifted the birthday cake, its candles just blown, and slipped the whole thing into the trash can before storming out. Some things a kid never forgets. What I remember best of my own mother comes from the photographs of the two of us. But I have few real memories. There's the one when she fell down the flight of stairs in Martha's Vineyard because the cancer made her so weak. I was 10. I never got to know her, but she held me close so I'd know her heartbeat. There's something about a stepchild that's different from other children. They need more love. They weren't born with your heartbeat. They're still searching for that unconditional love that they lost when their mother died. My stepmother never saw me as her child. And when I looked at Kelvin and Catherine, I felt dizzy and nauseous. I was anxious. I didn't want them to know how terrible it would be to grow up with a stepmother. And I knew I should leave. I wanted to stay. And I realized that I faced one of the most difficult moments of my life. But life is terrible and wonderful. And so I was given a little something extra. I went to the doctor with my, with my dizziness and my nausea, and I, I found out I was pregnant. And I was thrilled. And I was deeply unhappy. Because if I stayed, then history would repeat itself. I could leave and have the baby on my own, or I could wipe out all the unhappiness of my life and have an abortion. All of my options were terrifying. I wish that my mother was there to help me, but she wasn't. And then I realized that I carried her inside of me and that I wanted to share my heartbeat with someone else, that I already did share my heartbeat. I was pregnant and I really didn't have any decision to make because I'd already been pointed in a direction to go and it was the journey down that path that mattered now. And I would raise my daughter with my sweetheart, and I would stay and be a mother for my stepchildren. And not the stepmother that I had grown up with, but one who would give them what I had hoped for. So that even though they hadn't been born with my heartbeat, they would hear it now. Catherine has moved on and moved out. 
And I see my success as a parent in the way that she moves forward and in Mother's Day cards and gifts that she sends every year. But Kelvin, Kelvin has stayed. He's 26 now, and he seems to have stopped growing. And I fear that he's still searching for his mother's love, still grasping for those memories that grow more vague with the years. And I wish I didn't have to tell him to try harder. I wish I could be his mother, but I could never replace her. All I can do is hold him close. And that's why I'm afraid to let him go.